today was a bit different. I expected it to be a bit more easy and um, carefree than the last few days because I wasn't actually doing any calls today. Well, I was. I was only doing four, though, because um, it's a Saturday and I don't usually call people up on the weekends. So you would have expected it to be a bit more of a pleasant day than usual without the usual um, stabbing pain of um, having to talk to 100 people. But contrary to my preconceived belief, it was different to that because pain is actually a stimulant for me now and nothing else stimulates me. I can't get stimulated by pleasure. Not by anything really, only that pain. That's the only thing that makes me feel alive. And maybe slight frustration at little things that are happening. Like um, I had another um, pillow punching fest today um, because I was just getting a bit annoyed um, because Elementor wasn't working in the way that I wanted it to. And just everything just seemed kind of dragged out and boring and I kind of had to wait the hours away sort of and I actually ended up finishing pretty much everything I set out for myself because D7 lead finder only lets you do five searches a day and when you only do five searches a day it's gonna um it's gonna put a limit on how many leads you can source and I'm grateful for the software but it's funny when you can only um, I'm about to go on a tangent now. It's funny when you can only um, source a certain amount of leads when you're already limited in your capacity to actually find businesses without websites. So it's, it's pretty darn tricky now. So the main thing I was doing today was practicing some service delivery. So that was p putting up this draft website about sleeping business and um, that was it really. I also hosted the camera shaking. I hosted the um, the hardware site I was doing, and he hasn't gotten back to me on that yet. Neither has the lawnmower guy. As well, two people who haven't gotten back to me on any of that. I also have um, a DIY shop owner who hasn't um, who oh who's going to decide next week um, with his business partner. So. That, that's gonna be it's just all waiting really waiting 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 so waiting for waiting to suit other people's schedules um i don't know this business model seems to be very reliant on time and timing especially because it relies on people um getting ready to actually be able to supply the, the products in a way that they can um suit themselves and that's okay i can't really expect it to be any different because uh, they have a business to run and if they're taking pictures of products and that's going to put a strain on the daily operations again it's just going to be some lag in the actual getting paid for what i'm doing uh, i just hope it doesn't extend after this month and again um, it's not good to have your business predicated on hope but um, when you when you're kind of reaching into the dark there's kind of nothing else you can do now Hope isn't really optimism. Optimism is where you expect it to happen. I just kind of want it to happen and I'm doing everything in my power to will it to happen. Everything that I can see in my power. Now I know that there are capabilities that I do have that I am not aware of, but I don't really have them if I'm not aware of them, do I? For example, I could probably um, do some weird um, types of stretches with my limbs that I'm not aware, but I'm not aware of them. So how can I actually do them? It's like how somebody could physically be capable, like you could be physically strong enough to ride a bike, but if you have no dexterity or sense of motor coordination, then you're going to fall off it anyway, despite your physical st stats. Like it's not going to, it's not going to help you when you're about to tumble out across the stones, is it? So it's kind of like that for me. I have a ton of things that I could do, but I don't really know what to do exactly. Uh, um, the, like what in this particular minute am I supposed to be doing that's going to lead me to actually getting the success I need to get. Um, another thing is the fact that I'm still attending college and that's going to be, um, it's going to kind of put a stopper on my time. Of course I'm going to be working throughout college as well to see how many days of work could I, how many week, hours a day could I work in college. So let's say I have on average four hours a day, four lectures a day. So that's four hours gone completely. And gym is another one gone each day. And then going to and back and forth is probably another two hours. 
overall traveling like with the bike and generally walking between classes and stuff let's say that's that caps out another two hours then and another hour then for eating so that's not to three hours along with the four hours that's seven hours a day that's going to be gone now i'm going to have um so how do i normally function uh, these days i'm able to do about 12 hours because i do kind of two hours of work in, in the morning that's it's not really the case though that's that's i need to think so i'm putting one hour into my morning routine i'll be doing that anyway in college it's going to be a bit longer in college so i might as well just take another hour away uh, so that's going to be eight hours it's going to be taken away i have another could i have another five yeah i could that's going to be five hours a day um during the week days now this is going to be different on a friday so that's going to be it's going to be more like three hours on friday because two hours are going to be gone three hours on a friday for the last 23 hours then monday to friday and that leaves me with let's say i do 12 hours a day on the on the weekend that's 24 hours 23 plus 24 is 47 47 hours a week that's um, just a bit more than a full-time job, but it's not as much as I'm doing at this particular moment. At this particular moment, I'm doing about 73 and a half hours a week. And in terms of um, relative um, business owners, kind of nothing, but um, it's, it's an effort anyway. I don't think I'd actually physically survive um, 12 hours a day at this at my particular level. That's why I'm building up slowly. So I'm building up half an hour then. And that should work for me thing i'm noticing though in this moment is that i'm getting like since yesterday i kind of resolved to just put a stop around my emotions just don't let the offense even come through crush it to dust in a similar way in there just suck it up but the problem is uh, now i'm actually that's kind of starting to bite me in the ass and therefore um i'm getting fans of these and murdering people to put it simply <laughs> and um it's uh, it's not really something that I stand for. I don't really stand for murdering people. So it's, it's kind of something I'm going to need to address. Now again, just like that pillow. And, you know, I'm just going to go get it again because I kind of feel like punching it again. Sorry about that. So... I think that, my gosh, it feels really good to do that, you know. But my righteous anger level is just rising slowly and slowly. Um, but it's rising continuously. Might be because of the people I was talking to yesterday. That guy, I didn't even recall what he said because I just blanked all the emotional reaction I had from it out. He said something like, um, oh, you rang me up five times. Um, didn't you get the message the first time um, that I wasn't interested? Then he just hung up. I was about to say back to him, I didn't really get the message because I just assumed you weren't getting my messages because you don't check your phone. So, it does make sense to cover up my emotions then because I'm just going to end up scaring someone or getting reported. But, um, now, maybe on the weekends I could use this as a time to get it out a bit because they don't go away. Like, energy is not, it doesn't disappear, it's only converted from one form to another, and it was doubly for emotions. So, yeah, just my mouse now. No, it's completely unrelated, but I like it. It's my new mouse. to do like I actually don't know what to do I just need to have a decent amount of time now service delivery it's not really much um, to think about could learn a bit more or listen to more of that audiobook the subtle art of not giving up I don't want to swear in this channel because I don't know I just feel like in the future someone's gonna be watching it and it's just gonna make me cringe and when they hear me swear Otherwise I would, but not now. 
people who comment on things I do just casually piss me off when it's just like hey you're doing this thing uh -huh, let me comment about it and then um, my mind didn't have as much fortitude in the past and I would genuinely just get kind of offended at that yeah your recreational comments of you projecting your own excellence onto me when in reality it's just purely pseudo excellence has put quite the stopper in my ability to trust people so yeah I do really apologize for this but, um, really need to stretch before and after that I think that's really it for this video I appreciate you watching